Today I'm flying my Cessna 150 through the clouds with zero visibility and no autopilot. To make things safer, I always fly with ForeFlight on my iPad and they just announced dynamic procedures to add even more situational awareness during instrument approaches right on the map without ever having to open a chart. I can't wait to try it out, so let's file a flight plan and get in the air. So what we're gonna do is go from KPDK to a fix called Logan, then Logic, which starts us off on the RNAV Yankee 2 1 left and then back to KPDK. So it should just be a big triangle. I like to call this like the instrument traffic pattern. We're basically just gonna go up, grab a fix, a pro, you know, intercept the course, and then come, come right back in. So we've got PDK to PDK, Chattanooga alternate, 22318 is the aircraft, performance profiles in there, IFR flight rules, route is Logan Logic at 4000. We're gonna have two people on board, proceed to file, ICAO, IFR. 88 knots, one aircraft, PDK, off at 845 with two people. Logan, Logic, 4,000, 23 minute flight with four hours of fuel on board. Excellent, file. Now, we're good to go. Clear prop. Morning, get your ground, Cessna 22318. Like to pick up our IFR round robin to PDK, please. Uh, 318, clear to the KFC Street Airport is filed. Climb maintain 3,000, expect 4,000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 126.9 or 7, squawk 5241. Okay, clear to PDK as filed, climb maintain 3,000, expect 4,000, one zero minutes, 126.9 or 7, 5241 for 22318. 22318, read back correct. Yeah, that was your own. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Make sure our iPad's set up, so we've got Logan and Logic loaded in. We could go ahead and add the approach that we're going to request and always change it if we get something else because I also want to see what we're going to see here when we turn on dynamic procedures. So let's do approach, RNAV Yankee, 2-1 left. We'll do logic, that's where we intend to start. So here I'm going to pick my minimum. I've got category A, which is this plane. Equipment status is full, all, sy all systems functioning. Our minimums, we're going to do LNAV, VNAV. That's what we have uh, gear for and what we're expecting. And we'll hit add to route. So now, we're gonna see that all built right on here. It's gonna even overlay the chart, which we can hide if we'd like, but for now, let's keep it. And then here's the cool new thing that we're gonna, that we're gonna try out. If you click this little floating orb right here, bam, you get the sidebar. So this declutters everything that we're used to seeing on an approach plate and just makes it specific to my aircraft and my minimums for this particular approach. So we can see the final approach course. We've got all the communication information right here. Notes, so we can see that this uh, approach is 15 degrees offset from the runway. So when we break out, we're gonna have to cut a left turn, which is pretty cool. You see the entire route right here along with each of the step down altitudes. And then even a 3D rendering of what it looks like when you break out, which you can see right here has that offset. So super cool to be able to brief that and we'll see it in real life here coming up. So uh, we got our minimum right here, 1449 decision altitude. So we're ready to go. We can hide the chart right here. And what I love is that it's all just overlaid on the map. You don't have to leave that and go to a chart environment. You still have traffic and weather and all that other information right here. So for situational awareness, it just is awesome. That's so cool. So basically it's just like custom to you now. Yeah. So if you were flying a different plane, you just like put that plane in and it's like, okay, this is what you're gonna have to do. Exactly, instead of showing you everything for every plane. That's so cool. Number 22318, please retire, turn left heading 090, runway 21 right, cleared for takeoff, wind 2806. All right, left turn 090, clear for takeoff, 21 right, 22318. I'll be mostly looking eyes inside now. 318 heading 090, contact to line of departure. 090 over to departure, 22318, thanks. Morning approach, Cessna 22318, 2000 for 30090. Cessna 318, radar contact, three miles south, Petrie report, expect vectors for the RNAV Yankee runway 21 month approach, just verify to be a full stop and advise advanced Sierra. All right, we'll expect that we do have Sierra and affirmative full stop, 22318. Wow. We got 400 feet to go, just breaking out. And he said we could expect vectors to final. This is the kind of IFR that this plane's for. Okay, we have Sierra. Uh, we're we can hit show Sierra chart real quick and just kind of brief that. So our final approach course is going to be 221. Touchdown zone is 991 feet. We've got our decision altitude of 1449. And our mist is down here, written right there in the sidebar. Climbing right turn to 4,000, direct Bappy and hold. But if we do have to go missed, that's what we're gonna do.
All right, let's go ahead now and just activate our vectors to final because he said that's what we're going to get. We're going to go ahead and do two, two, one. On the iPad, we'll click here and we'll hit activate vectors to final as well. So now we got the same situation going on. I'm excited to pop out and see the, the angle. An approach where you pop out not lined up with the runway is pretty cool. Yeah, you got to be prepared for that though because if you did it and you... Maybe I go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're just like, oh, I wasn't three, prepared. One, eight, turn left thing, three, six, zero. Left three, six, zero, two, two, three, one, eight. Here's our line coming in, watching for our needles now. Go ahead and go full rich to take that off our plate. So we are landing light on, mixture full rich, landing checklist complete, gear down. Go to 3186, off of Covey, turn left thing 250, maintain 3000, still established, clear to, clear to RNAV Yankee, runway 21 left approach. Left turn 250, maintain 3000, till established, cleared RNAV Yankee 21 left 22318. Okay, last turn, 250, maintain 3000. That's forward speed for as long as you can for traffic to follow. All right, best rate, 22318. There's 3000, there's 250, so that's our final heading. And a interception appears imminent. That's good. Maintain 3000 until we're established on the final approach course. That means touching that line? Yep, touching the line and, and add a 221 heading. So like on the, following the beam end, basically. Gotcha. Let's go ahead and start our shallow right, turn. 340, okay, 323. To 221. Final approach course. Set to 318, contact Petri Tower, 120 point enter. Over to Tower 2238, thanks. Petri Tower, Cessna 2238, RNAV Yankee 21 left. Number 2238, Petri Tower, runway 21 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 21 left, 22318. Now I'm looking for the, uh, get this centered back up, so we're correcting a little bit here. Looks like it's coming in nicely, so we'll get back to our 221 now. Okay, glad path's coming in. And we can see it right here on the iPad over Kobe, so now we're good down to the 1800, but we're just gonna get back on the glide path here. We can see it showing our active leg on the uh, dynamic procedure there, it's pretty sweet. And we're looking for 1449, so here's 2500 feet now. We're right on glide path, right on approach course. Correcting a little bit to the left now. Passing through 2000, looking for 1449. Course looks good, a little high still. Wind 2704. Right on the numbers now. Looking for 1449. We got 150 feet to go. I'm still looking inside. 50 feet to go. I'm still looking inside. And here comes 1449. That's minimum. So I'm looking and we're landing. I got runway in sight. Excellent. Looks just like that. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. It does look just like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. That was so cool. Cessna 318, turn right, taxi away, golf, cross runway 21 right, contact ground point 6, the other side, good day. All right, right, golf, cross 21 right, over to ground, 2238. Sweet. That's so cool. Was it helpful? Did you like it? Right. Yes, yeah, awesome. I like anything that gives you more situational awareness than this. Yeah. Than this 68-year-old. <laughs>